Now, I know that, um, you know, in some ways, I know that Nikki has felt discredited, right? And um, what I want to say is that I noticed something today. And this is before I get into the his versus Bigfoot. I know, well, I said today, I noticed that like, you know, not too long ago. Um, you remember when Trina said that, uh, Beyonce was the, you know, she's, she's the queen of rap, right? At first I was like, maybe... Trina was saying it in a way like, you know, nobody's really the queen of rap. We all make music type of way. Like, but at the same time, she she knew it was going to press buttons with Nikki because Nikki claims that title, right? And I think that people see her as a threat because she is so like, yeah, bitch, I'm the queen of rap. That's me. And what? If you got beef, get in the booth, bitch. It's kind of like Nikki's way of, you know, and with, I'm not going to get fully into, you know, the hiss versus Bigfoot yet because I noticed that there was a, um, award for, Savage by um, Megan and, you know, featuring Beyonce, the remix one. And I don't know what award ceremony it was exactly, but she, Megan said out of her mouth that she was trying to manifest being the Beyonce of rap. You have to know that ever since I was little, I was like, you know what? One day, I'm going to grow up and I'm going to be like the rap Beyonce. <laughs> now, listen to what I'm saying, right? When I heard that, I said, okay. She's trying to manifest that. Maybe she's not there right now, right? Because even when, and now we're going to get into speaking about some things about Bigfoot and, and, and his, right? When, when Nikki said, you know, that her flow is like repetitive, right? And I heard, <laughs> I kind of heard tier one. And for y'all that don't understand like tier one, I see that as like a, like a Amazon associate, like a just a regular associate, girl. You just a regular associate. You just a tier one associate. But it's I I understand that when I have heard some of her verses, I said okay, they are kind of repetitive, right? But if she's trying to manifest that, it's as if Trina. Because sometimes the universe will do some little tricky little things when they be saying some tricky little things. You know what I'm saying? She was saying she wanted to be the Beyonce of rap. And you know, Nikki already qu claims the queen of rap, right? So these are like two different things. But you know, Beyonce, we know her as Queen B. And her and Megan saying that she wants to manifest being the queen, the, like basically like the queen bee of rap. And um, what's her name? Trina saying that, you know, Beyonce is the queen of rap. You know, it was kind of like, is the universe trying to send a sign? But I think right now, and I said this in a I said this in a previous like video, but I think I deleted it because I just didn't have enough space on my phone. Nicki Minaj can't even retire because there is 
nobody at this moment that can I, I hear a caliber like they can't rap at her caliber like they're not up to par in rapping the way that she can rap the way that she can deliver and her thought process and it's like I think for a while Nikki was in this place of not enjoying the idea of um giving people like the sauce right like giving people the the full blueprint of how to rap in the style of how she raps like people study it but I think that she's never wanted to give people the full like you know layout but even though people have kind of figured it out it's still as if there are there aren't many female rappers there aren't any female rappers that can rap in the way that she can and she notices that so it's kind of like with her playful banter in a way she's like it's just like she's schooling these girls type of that's what I heard like she's schooling these bitches is what I heard and I don't say that to be unkind and I think that when she's when she's rapping, like she's in, even in her like um, interviews, I think she's when she's saying these things, she's not saying it to be malicious or unkind because I think that she does this as a passion. It's not to be like, ah, uh, none of these bitches can rap. Fuck these bitches. These other rap bitches. She's not saying it like that. I think that people when they experience her. They think that she's saying that none of y'all bitches can rap and fuck all these other bitches in the rap gang and things like that. I think she's saying it like, come on, like, get in the booth. Like, you know, like, let's, you know how homeboys be at the house and they play, they play the game, you know, and things like that. And sometimes you may have that one homeboy that get, that get mad when they playing the game because you keep winning or something like that. It's kind of sort of like like that like sometimes people can't handle what you're saying and so they have their I don't know you know I do know but yeah in reference to his I think that it's kind of like Meg knew that um and I, I heard this before I started recording the video. And this is what made me like record it. Like I was like, I gotta record this now so I don't forget. Um I heard <laughs> I heard that that isn't me. Because I was gonna say something in reference to to his. And when I heard that isn't me, I was like, my response to what I was thinking isn't me. But then I thought about it and I said, Oh, the the song that was written isn't her because I kind of heard it in Meg's voice in a way. And I was like, oh, that's what I heard. That isn't me. That wasn't me, right? So it's kind of like whoever is ghostwriting has the issue with Nikki. It's not, it's not Meg actually having an issue with Nikki. But at the same time, I want to say this, because this is very important. I think there has to be some type of under compassion. There has to be this compassion for beings that are younger, and especially like Meg, because she has experienced things like the loss of a parent um, and, you know, the legal, legal things and things like that. But at the same time, if you don't agree with something in in a rap, then maybe you should have changed it around because saying something negative towards a um, artist like Nicki Minaj is kind of like, eh. you know, we've seen what has happened with people who have lyrically tried to, you know, and I want to say this too, like, you know, when you say, when you, when a person says something, 
in the music like, and bitch, basically like, bitch, I dare you to say something. I dare you to say something. And then when they say something, now it's like, oh, what I said was just, oh, you shouldn't have said. I thought I was recording. And I wasn't even recording. And the ancestors were just letting me talk away. But I was saying that with Nikki's age, I think that people are perceiving that Nikki should be compassionate towards Meg because of the things that she's been through. And I also said that within Meg's song, His, I didn't um, receive. I didn't receive that uh, um, she was talking about her son, uh, her son. I just didn't receive that part. But at the same time, I was saying that my alter ego probably would have reacted the same way <laughs> in a way of like, bitch, you said whatever the fuck I said you said about me. Because you know that we be fans, so, bitch, if I said that you talking about my dog, and bitch, and you know I don't like you, then, bitch, I'm just going to go to, I'm grab this comment from hell and bring it back up to earth and let you hear what I got to say. When they go low, I go low up. But also, I noticed that that when we do that, it's coming from an egoic place. And I've kind of, you know, I've been trying to grow spiritually and not be that way. And I think that Nikki has too. But at the same time, her being a rapper is kind of like, even, and I heard this earlier, before I started recording, I heard that it wasn't that what that isn't me, and I've kind of heard it in the voice of the stallion, Megan the stallion. I heard that that wasn't me. So what that was telling me, using my clear cognizance, is that she didn't like the record. And so, with that being said, I want to say that you know. Meg, if you knew that the record was coming out, <laughs> you knew that there was going to be a response. And I think that the fans are having a more difficult time receiving what was said by Nikki rather than Meg and herself. Because I think that the way that um, it was energetically being received, you know, through Nikki is that, bitch, you done, you done healed up really good because you... Like you, you talking, you talking real big in this record. So you want me to respond. So whatever I respond with, don't be upset when you hear it. It's kind of like the energy of it, you know? And then she said she has more, but I heard, I heard this saying, um, the ancestors was like, don't. But I think that it's important to be authentic when I'm speaking on this topic, like about this. It's like hurt people hurt people. But I will say this. I don't think that it, you know, is is hurt. I think it's more of, you know, unhealed people when they haven't healed fully. Because, you know, I think that with Nikki's experience, right? I think that how many times has people or have people, and I want to say this, you know, I think that oftentimes other artists don't fully credit her. They, they you know, they misunderstand how she kind of presents they they think that oh she she just she's just saying that she's she's the best rapper out there and there aren't any other rappers but I think that Nick is just like well if you challenge that challenge it in the booth and not many people got in the booth when she was when she came into the game and was saying things like um bitch if you ain't shitting get off the pot 
You know? She was basically saying, bitch, if you want smoke, get in the booth. But saying it too also as a like a, a like a friendly banter. Like, bitch, I'm getting in the booth, I'm making money, you know, you you're an artist too, get in the booth. Challenge it is kind of kind of what it was, right? But I think that knowing that Nikki and Megan are ops, right? <laughs> it's kind of like, bitch, you say something to me and you know I don't like you, bitch. I'm going to going to go get this comment out of hell. I'm going to go get these lyrics out of hell and bring them back and say what I need to say to you because, bitch, you know I don't like you. <laughs> it's kind of like the energy of it. And I know that there was something else I was uh, saying too, but I can't remember it. Damn. But yeah. I also want to say this because I think it's very important. Sometimes people's res um how people respond to life when they are grieving or or are in a depressive state is unlike themselves, right? And I want to say that with Megan when you know she has lost a parent and you know with these allegations about who she slept with and things like that it was kind of around the time like um the loss of her parent was before um well this is per research that i researched right um it was before um hot girl summer was released and then there was these acts of sleeping with these different men. And sometimes that's how people deal with these um, things that they're experiencing, right? And, and it's not an excuse for her behavior, but I think at the same time, she's been healing within the limelight, right? And so with that being said... Her being young, I think oftentimes, or, or with the public, they're looking at Nikki as like, you're the bigger, like, you're the older sister. Like, um, help her to grow up in kind of like in a way. But I think that this is what I was going to say. I think it's difficult for Nikki to kind of view it from that point when there has been so many women in rap culture that have kind of just went against her in a way because you remember and she even spoke about when they had her face on the like the obituary on the screen and you know the rap beef and, and, and they said all these things but I think like I said earlier I think Nikki is kind of misunderstood. And I don't say that from the perspective of a barb. I say that from the perspective of being a human being and what I'm observing as a being of light. I think that people generally misunderstand her. And I think with Meg, um, there's just some more healing that can be done because I think that like what my ex used to say because he lost his mom in the year of 2012. He was saying that there wasn't any pain that, you know, there wasn't any pain that was like that. And because I had my mom, well, because my mom is still alive, how would I, how would I understand that, you know? And that isn't to say that I was, I would, ex that isn't to say that I would experience it the same way because me and my mom's relationship is different from his, him and his mom's relationship was, you know? So, yeah. But I think the basis of it and how it's being perceived is that, girl, you released the record, so you should expect for somebody to respond. And then when they did respond, I think that the crowd or the fans 
had the reaction. It wasn't actually Megan. It was like the fans perceiving it in the way that it was perceived. Like, she too old to be acting like that. Bitch. Now, I need to add this to this video. You, you probably have heard Bigfoot, right? I think, you know how um, when two females get into a fight and one of them may know that she's way much stronger than the other and, you know, like, best of like, let, let's use Tiseki, you know, it's like, sometimes Tiseki would be like, I ain't gonna eat that bitch up, that bitch, she can't, like, she can't fight, right? Imagine, like, Tiseki fighting against um, Mariah Lynn. And I can say it because I think that Mariah Lynn and Tiseki are, you know, I think they're, like, mutuals. I think they're cool with each other, right? But just look at the, the, the size difference. I think... And if y'all don't know who those are, who these people are. I'm speaking about the baddies from Baddies East. But it's like with Bigfoot, when Nikki released it, I think that Nikki was kind of like, a lot of people were saying, oh, you can tell that she basically didn't give an effort into really demolishing Megan in Bigfoot. It was kind of like, she was just like... Like, she was just like, I'm really not even dragging this bitch as hard as I could drag this bitch. Kind of energy, right? And she was basically, it's kind of like with her rants, she was basically like saying that, like, girl, I'm going to show you that I'm not even going to put, in like, uh, energy into releasing this record and it's still going to do numbers over your song. And it's in a way, like, she was, like, big sistering her in her record even though she was saying things like you know about her mom i think that there was there was like this big sistering that was going on like her basically saying like bitch you you still need to do work with your raps like you still need to learn how to have a different flow and things like that i like it's kind of like she was saying, I know you dissed me. Like, I dare you to say something else because I could release a full clip in the next record. <laughs> you know? And she was, it's kind of like she was like, she didn't want to do it to her. But because she was, you called her pussy and said that she wasn't going to do anything, it was just like, oh, okay, well, now I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. I think that because his is not that the lyrics aren't there. I think that it's like her delivery and flow of the, of of these lyrics. And also, you know, if if she isn't writing her raps, I think that that could have a big play in it, but you know, who knows? I'm I'm not in the booth with, with Megan, so I don't know. At least not currently. But um, you know. Yeah, and I probably wouldn't go right nothing for her either. Because I think that it's just it would be difficult to um to rap against like a favorite knowing that you enjoy them. And I also have always thought that, like, um, when you, like, you know, I, I see a lot of, like, when rappers become, like, big, you know, it's like when, when people F with Nikki, it's kind of as if Nikki's just like, if you fuck with me, you do not fuck with that. <laughs> it, 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 you know, I think that would be difficult in a way, you know, because of, like I was saying, with with the Grammys, a, a lot of people in the music industry, you can tell that 
it's like a biased opinion towards Nikki. Like some people dislike her because other people dislike her. And it's kind of like Nikki is wanting the same thing from people that fuck with her. Like in a way of like, all right, you fuck with me, so you don't fuck with the with these ops that don't fuck with me. If you really fuck with me, it's fuck the mother bitches. But at the same time, it's kind of like, we all got to get a bag, bitch. We all got to get a bag. We all got to get money. But I think Nikki's like one of those people like, I got you. If you fuck with me, bitch, and you and you tell me that that's how you truly feel, bitch, I got you. Money, bitch, I got you. Records, we going to make them. <laughs> but, um, and, you know, um... Not to say that Megan isn't that way, you know, but right now, you know, there are some things that, you know, even when I'm hearing her flow and hearing her delivery, um, it's kind of like when she was saying that she can't rap on beat, when she, when Nikki was saying that about Megan, I was kind of like, hmm, I don't think for the full song she wasn't on beat, but I, I understand what she was saying. It was like her flow didn't kind of really match the full delivery of the song and that's what I wanted to say about oh you remember in her and Nicki Minaj's rant when she was talking about Bigfoot and how before she was saying that she was trying to um release a song on a beat and uh she called them dookie on the beats was uh denied this denied the song or something like that he um basically de denied the song that she had like recorded a long time ago what if that you know and this is probably what she was saying and I just probably didn't recognize it but she what if she she was saying that her original beat for Bigfoot was and I think that That's why she she continues to talk about it because I think that she probably wanted to see if a barb was going to remember the song that she was talking about. But who knows? I'll tell y'all this. I consider myself a a listener of Nicki Minaj's music since. It was even before, like, it had to have been like 07, I had to had, had to have started listening to Nicki's music. Because I know I was listening to Itty Bitty Piggy, but there were some songs that I was listening to prior to that of Nicki's. And, you know, a lot of people... And I spoke about this a long time ago, like maybe not a long time ago, but three years ago. And, um, you know, a lot of people know all of her lyrics to her songs. But, you know, I'm just showing you that I've known, known of Nicki Minaj's music for a long time. And even I've noticed that Nicki, even though she used to celebrate certain rappers in the game she stopped celebrating them after they started kind of taking offense to her rise in hip-hop culture but yeah i thought that i should add this but again i don't want this video to be super duper long but if it is it is what it is because the bar y'all gonna listen right y'all gonna subscribe right period Barb's as much as y'all, as much as y'all want to dox people and things like that, when they go against the queen, y'all got to do the same thing when, in terms of celebrating the queen. And, and hotties, y'all too. Because again, like I say, I, Nikki to the what of me, Nikki to the what of me, Nikki to the end, to the end. But at the same time, I enjoy the Heidi's. I enjoy Barty Gang. I enjoy the Beehives. Like Beyonce. So, I do want y'all to know that. But, 
when when Nikki say pick a side, pick a side, Barb, or you know any other game, I have to be transparent with what I am saying. Um, I think that it is important that I say this about the the. the and I heard infamous, but I the the difference of where these two artists are in their careers. Nikki is a more, as most people have said, seasoned being. And when I hear people speaking up about Nikki and things like that, and um, you know, when I heard them speaking about this whole beef I guess because it doesn't even really I, I know it is a beef but it just is kind of like uh, uh. anyway I think that it's easier for Nikki to be likable over Meg for the reason that Nikki has been in her career way much longer and she has what what is that that word tenure she she has like a I'm not even sure the full complete definition of that word but it's sort of like Nikki has already gathered the love of fans and although there are many beings that disliked what she said in her record or disliked her rants and said that, um, you know, she was ill and things like that. I think that, A, she's a rapper. So it's like, you know, she raps. And B, the same things have been said about her or similar similar things have been said in raps about her but because those rappers were um I guess you can say dying out or they or their careers just weren't as big as what Nikki's is I mean some of them were right but it's like for some reason People hold Nikki to this standard of she can't do this and she can't do that because of where she is in her career. And I think that some people wanted her to, you know, be the bigger person and be like, well, I know that she's young in the game and, you know, she's older. I think, uh, you know, we're not even going to I'm not even going to speak about the age difference because we know it's a it's a age difference there right but I think it's like what what they call it like I heard we gotta eat that's what I heard money has to be made um and I think that when Nikki where Nikki is the energy of it is kind of like you know and she said it in an um, interview she said that they blacklisted her or she didn't say that they blacklisted her, but I think that they said that, you know, they did they did this or they did that towards her. And it's kind of like she's moving in a way that's not about gaining the awards because she knows that she is worthy of the award. So it's kind of like F the awards. But I think that Megan's energy is kind of like... And I know some, I heard, I heard, stop talking about that bitch, but it was like very, very soft, (laughs) but I'm speaking about it because, you know, it should be spoken about. I think Megan's energy is kind of like, you know how a person be like, (laughs) they got to get their rocks off. Like they, they got to, they, they just got to say it. Like they got to say it. They got to get their rocks off. It's kind of like, I need to say it because, you know, it's just been too long that I ain't said anything. And I think a lot of times when people make these, they they respond about things that they have experienced, it's kind of like, if it's not 
I heard, if I heard if it's not decorated correctly, like if it's not a the difference with Nikki when she her disc records are also like she she call she doesn't call them disc records because they're songs and they can be played again like uh no frauds it can be played again it's a like a marketable song and it's cat like it's, it's it's a song that you want to sing pick a pop, pick a sign pick a sign you know there were some great parts about the his record there there were some great parts so we don't want to fully discredit her because we know that that is ha happening to Nikki so we have to in some way not do that to another black queen and we have to in some way uplift our black queens in the world because we know that it is already happening to a black queen to a Trinidadian queen. But um, I'm going to talk about some um, black history things soon. So stay tuned. For real. Now I'm going to wrap this video up. Because it, it's getting pretty lengthy. But I want to say this. A bitch would love to bring up your age. For anything. Oh you too old to be doing this. You too old to be doing that. They too young to be questioning my authority. <laughs> nah, nah. But for serious, I think that um, there can be a little bit more compassion to Meg. But at the same time, I think she's trying to get back in her in her bag. But at the same time, it's, it's rap. You know, we're going to say what we need to say. And, um, you know, um, there was somebody commenting on a video. Hey, commenter. <laughs> I think it was David's commenting on um, my song. Yeah. Anyway, they would say anything when you when you get up at age. Like, you too old to be twerking. You a boy. You a man. You should be doing that. We all got we all got to survive and live and 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 make money to to live in this experience this experience that we're living in and things like that. Don't be trying. Bitch, I got to make money too. They're rappers, right? They're rappers. I think, you know, people have to understand. There were things that were said about Nikki. And yeah, like, I think that, you know, this is what Nikki is talking about when she's saying the things like, you know, these hate training, things like that. Because there was somebody that said something um, about the lyrics of Lil' Kim, right? Where Lil' Kim was like, um, she was like, fuck you, fuck your brother, fuck all of these people and things like that. And I think maybe she didn't have the same energy then as she has now. But I think that when those things start to build up and you notice that it's just a recurring type of experience, at some point, you're going to unleash on some person. And when you give a person a warning and you say, okay, this is the season. I'm not fucking around with you bitches. I want to say what I need to say. And then they want to start perceiving you as this, like, a, just this person that's just like, Oh, that's not like them. They shouldn't have said that. They're too old to be acting like that. Well, bitch, I told you. I told you that what it was going to be. And now that I'm being in the energy that I said I was going to be in, I'm fully content because I already told you that I was going to be in that energy. I already told you that I was going to cuss you the fuck out. But nah, we're not doing that. We're in loving energy, loving, light, beautiful energy. I hear some of y'all saying, fuck that. <laughs> Yo, but um, I think I had to speak on this so I can, so my barb car can um, stay, um, what they call it? Stay and stated. Is that what it's called? Stay and stated. But again, I do enjoy, um, I enjoy music. And I enjoy these type of topics. But I don't want this video to be like super duper long. It's probably already like in this 40 minutes. 
Oh, and I got a new subscriber. Hey, new subscriber. Ow. Tay TV, I think it was. Hey, that means that I got 84 subscribers now. And I told y'all that I had started off with 24 subscribers this year. Ow. Ow. <laughs> eh. Couple wet wipes. Case of both. Shout out. <laughs> I don't even know why that lyric. Y'all probably looking at me like, you looking like a real... Listen, I'm about to lay down. Yeah. Shit, I'm tired. Whew. Anyway, I enjoyed this conversation. I don't want this video to be super duper long. So, I'm going to just tell y'all, if you enjoy this video or you have some commentary, get in the comment section. Like it. Comment. Subscribe. And you don't have to be a barb. You can be whoever from wherever. You know, um, we support music. We sh we support spiritual beings who are enlightened and understand the way of life. And e even if you don't, you come here to be enlightened. That's okay. And with that being said, Toodaloo, I love you. I definitely will come the fuck back. I'm in a black back, we never lack lack with that strap. I'ma drive through, but if we back back, it's gon' clap clap and that's that. I never tap tap if I don't like a hoe. You act act like you like it though. Never backtrack if I ain't fucking with you. Can't sit with us, but you might go. All my pretty bitches, half the ditty bitches, got a milli bitches, so I'm go. Oh silly bitches, I'ma kill these bitches. Yo pop, who the fuck wants smoke? Keep keep it real, you really mad.